Hello everybody, welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to install Night Hunter for your Techno Parrot standalone games. Call it Techno Parrot just because it's a Techno Parrot style game, but this will be a standalone so you can download it, set it up, play it for free, and you gotta pay for anything. And you don't need Techno Parrot to actually run it, but still within that same family. So that's why I refer to it as Techno Parrot. Um, in this video, we're going to go over breadcrumbs on where to find the game. We're going to set up our demo shooter for it, which is not too hard. And set up for our launch box. For the tutorial, I'll be using the Uncle Rick build. This will work with any other launch box build you're running. Same steps will apply. I'll be using the Sendin light guns, but you can be using any other type of light guns. It doesn't matter. Just skip the reshade portion unless you want to know how to kind of brighten up your colors a little bit using reshade. All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Um, first off, let's find our game. So Lunatic Light Gun website page is always good for sourcing out where the games are. We have a couple of search options here. Uh, the one that I'll be using for this one is the archive.org. I would recommend using the torrent downloading route as that will download much quicker than the RAR or zip file will. We also have the Google Drive here. Uh, that one is slightly different than the one that I'm using, so it's already been modified. So I don't think you would have any issues running the game with that one. But if you want to follow everything I'm doing step by step, you'll want the archive.org one. Okay, if you would like to follow along while I'm using to set this up, I'm using the Ademal Shooter Wiki, and Argon has a wealth of information on all these games and you systems here. So just about any tutorial that I run using anything with Ademal Shooter, this is the mail. this is the uh, reference that I'm following. Okay, and you'll find Night Hunter under Unis Technology. This is the same uh, one that mail. came up with the uh, Raccoon Rampage and Elevator Ash Invasion. Now, originally I want to do the Rack and Rampage since that's the latest one out currently, but I just can't get it to where it runs stable every time. With my experience, I can get it set up during the first time around, but after I close the game and try to play it, I, I'll get a variety of errors. So once I get all that cleared up, I will have a thorough guide out for Rampage. Okay, I'm just going to briefly go over this. So the game itself is pretty much quite simple. We download the game. We take the game folder out of it. We want to put it into our Techno Parrot. We want to copy from Demo Shooter Zunity folder, the Night Hunter. We're just going to take it, drop where this kibble is at. This is going to be our settings before we start the game, and we can set our resolution or anything else we might need. Set this to Demo Shooter. I believe this will already by default be set to Demo Shooter. These are going to be our command we're going to run, and we're going to be using Demo Shooter X64. And as far as controls goes, it pretty much just lines up with already how your gun is. Keyboard button one, which would be your player one start, will let you actually start the game. Same cutscene, same for player two. Credits are shared by number five, so you can add all the hotkeys if you want to, if you want player two to also input credits. I would just load it up or just set the game to free play as well. Zero is going to be a service menu where you can change all that. Down arrows will navigate. Enter will enter your service mode. Now, right here is very important, and there's going to be little quick action scenes where you do this, and that's your steering wheel, and that's your directional pad left or directional right. So if you have a directional pad on your gun like Descendant does, gun and most of them, guns out there will, then you can just use that by default to move your wheel left or right. So there's really no auto hotkey necessary we need, at least as far as I want to show on changing any of the controls for the game. Okay, some notes. Um, it's best to play this in a 1920 by 1080, which is what I run all of mine on. And most games should be run on that anyways. And it shows right here the uh, situations that may happen if you do run it higher or if you run it lower. And it gives you the input mode right here. I just leave it as is with this. It's going to run straight. And it says you can use Alt and F4 to quit the game, but I actually found that this escape on its own exits the game. At least it does for me. So if escape doesn't work for you, Alt plus F4 will quit the game as well. Okay, 
let's go ahead and get this installed now. Okay, so of course you're going to want to open up your launch box. I'm using Uncle Rick Unleashed. Again, just like my previous videos, any other launch box build should work just as well. Uh, do make sure you are running your gun program. So whether it's Aim Track, whether it's Gunfry R or Ascended, make sure you have that already going. All right, and I'm going to, and you can put this game wherever you want. I'm just going to put it in with my Techno Parrot games. Run that, and as you can see, I did not have the game on here, so let's go ahead and add this. Okay, go to your downloads folder, and after you download it, you should have a file right here, Night Hunter for Windows, if you've done it through the archive site. I'm using WinRAR, and let's take it and drop it wherever. We're just going to move this into our Techno Parrot games folder once this has extracted or wherever you want to put that. Okay, and go ahead and close your extraction program. And once it has extracted, you have this folder right here. Okay, and then you may have one more folder to extract. So I don't know why there's two zipped in here, but this is a folder that we do want by the end of all this. So you want the uh, 900. Then just drag it and pull it. Okay, and you want to have your Night Hunter folder, so just go ahead and cut it or copy it and place it to wherever you want to place your games at. And so I want to put mine with the Techno Parrot games. You can put it with your Windows games or just wherever you want to. So I'm going to go to my games folder here, go to Techno Essay. So I name mine the Techno Essay as standalone, so I do know that all these are standalones and do not require the Techno Parrot emulator. Okay, now that we have that, that folder here, go ahead and open it. You're going to open it up to the games folder. So we're going to click on the Night Hunter one right here. And actually, let's go ahead and drag this, this one out. We don't really need these other two files. This is just a media file. I've actually got a more complete media folder with this so you can just click in the description link below and you're going to get the more full media folder let's go ahead and extract this folder out and that's your techno essay so let me do it fully so rename this whatever it's going to be okay All right, actually, uh, don't do that. Just come up here and hit enter to refresh this. Sometimes, for whatever reason, whenever I import games, it doesn't really show the complete listing until I come up here and refresh this. So I want to rename my Night Hunter folder right back to hunter.bk. There we go. That's the way it should be. Okay, now this is the way everything should look for you. Now the uh, next step, we're going to open up our demo shooter, and we're going to open up the uh, Unity uh, folder and drop some files from Unity into Night Hunter. All right, so you can find our demo shooter here in Uncle Rick Unleashed if you are using this build, or just wherever you have your demo shooter installed. Go to Tools, demo shooter. And you're going to go up here to Unity. You'll see not under folder right here. Let's open it up and then we want to take all these, copy them and paste them in the root of the not hunter folder. It's going to ask if you want to replace these files, hit yes. Okay. And now we have this fixed in here. Next, we're going to go to, uh, we to go to our input plugin configuration. Adjust these how you want, but do remember if you change this, the notes that we talked about earlier. Input mode should be demo shooter, so it's already defaulted there. And then here you can change any of these, so we have to remove guns, remove laser sights, and remove the crosshairs. For some of these games, I think having a crosshairs and laser sight kind of just adds more of an arcade like feel, but I don't like the guns. But again, this is my preference, you can leave those if you want to. For me, I'm just going to remove the gun portion. Hit save. Hit OK. 
then close this out. And everyone, that is basically it. Uh, we still have to hook our demo shooter to this, but let's go ahead and start the game. The game executable is going to be Kumo2 underscore EN. And all we're concerned about this part is just to make sure the game itself runs. Okay, so it's launching. Everything looks good. It's doing its initializing. And then I just hit escape to get out of it. And the game closes the way it should. But if that didn't work for you, then you can just hit Alt and F4. That's kind of like the... It's kind of the, uh, that's basically the unified way to shut down your standalones is all in F4. So just always keep that in mind when you're testing other standalones out. Okay, let's go ahead and minimize this and we'll get this installed to our launch box now. All right, let's go ahead and right click anywhere. It doesn't matter. Hit add and you're just going to put in Night Hunter. Go ahead and hit search for media. Anytime you get this, just hit yes. It always is beneficial. It's just LaunchBox giving you more metadata and more media options. I just want to give it a moment to refresh. Once it does, we'll have this pulled down. You'll have 900 for Dark Chapter 2. Click OK. Uh, come down here to emulation. Uncheck this because we're not going to be using an emulator. So make sure that is unchecked. Go to your launching, and we're going to point this to our game. So hit browse, go to your games folder in your build. Go to where you put it, Night Hunter, and remember it's going to be the Kumo2 underscore EN. Hit open, hit OK. Now we don't have any media yet for this, so don't worry about that. Now, let's go ahead and start the game. We're just confirming right here that the game does launch through LaunchBox. All right, starting, everything looks good. We are initializing. I wanna wait for it to finish initializing and then wanna exit the game. I just hit escape, exit fine by me, no issues. Again, Alt F4 if it does not exit properly for you. Okay, now very important, we need to tie our demo shooter to this. So we're gonna right click, go to edit, edit metadata, come down to additional apps and hit add application. Application name, name, whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it demo shooter. Application path, point it to your demo shooter. Your following Uncle Rick is going to be in your tools folder. Anyone else, just wherever you put demo shooter at on your build. And you're going to be using the X64. Must use that one. Hit open. Now we're going to go back to the demo shooter page and go where the we're following the instructions at. Or we can cite that in your search, and this will take you here as well. All right. Go to Argon, Demo Shooter, and your link's only right here. And it's going to be under the Unity category, Night Hunter. And you're going to want to copy dash target and everything to the end. And that's all you want. So copy all that over, minimize it, come back over here, right click, left click, right click, paste, automatically run before main application, hit OK, hit OK, and go ahead and start the game. Now here we can go ahead and test our guns real quick. If you're running a same program, you can just hit Alt and B and I'll bring the border up. Yeah, we can test and confirm that our guns are working. So I'm going to use my start one button. 
I got that started. I can see my icon moving. Now I'm going to try my player two. Same thing, player two start. Got that going. Now let's go ahead and hop into a game and make sure they fire. You can hit your uh, player one or player two start button to kind of skip some of the cutscenes. All right, and everything looks good. I'm shooting. You're going to need to change your your um, ammo type so you can actually just shoot off screen. And now I'm shooting while I'm supposed to be shooting. Not oh, sorry. My aim is horrible right now because I'm just too close to the screen. But I do have confirmed what I wanted to. The guns are shooting. Everything is working as planned. So up to this point, you're basically done. Uh, we're going to set up our reshade. And then we want to set up our media. Uh, let's go ahead and set up our media. And that's going to really make things more. It looks better. We don't like it plain. We use this so we can really bring out the experience. Okay, so click on the link, download it, and you're going to have a folder called Night Hunter Media. Go ahead and open it. And this is going to be our media files for the game. Come up here. Try to minimize this a little bit. Nope, I just have to live with it. Right click. Edit. Edit metadata. Come to images and then bring up the folder. All right, so let's go ahead and get the 3D box art in. Now I'm just going to put this as 3D box art. Okay, next we're going to do the clear logo. We're going to do fan art. The reason we want fan art is that's what's going to give us that loading screen background. So if we don't have a background images, then it's just going to have a blank backdrop whenever you're trying to start the game up. So FYI on that. Okay, so that's the images, and now we're going to get our videos in. So this will be our theme video. And do make sure you set that to theme. Or it's not going to load up properly with your themes. And then just a regular video snap here for those who want it. And I will just default to video snap. Hit OK. And then you can just hit F5 if that didn't refresh. All right, we have our media. Uh, next, we're going to uh, hook our reshade it to this. So we're just going to go to wherever we have a reshade downloaded. If you do not have a reshade on hand, you can just go to the website reshade.me or reshademe.com. And you're going to have this file right here. Hit browse, locate the game, kimo2 underscore en, hit open, go to next. And we're going to be using DirectX 10, 11, 12. Hit next. No. I think I'm hooking the wrong version of this. So cancel this and try again. All right. I was in from a different drive, from a different build. All right. So games. Techno SA. Not Hunter, combo two underscore. All right. Next, direct X 10, 11, 12. So we have FX needs to be checked. Hit next. All right. And that's it. Let's go ahead and jump into the game now. We want to see the reshade message on top. <clears throat> Hit home. Skip tutorial. You'll want border for you send in users. I can get away with eight. Some of y'all might need 10 or 12. 
yours may be different from mine, so just experiment. Uh, next, I'm going to turn on my Technicolor just to bring out the brightness on that. And HDR to even it out. Then we can just hit home to get out of that. Now I want to escape out of this. I want to jump back in just so I can test confirm that everything does stay as it should. All right, and everything looks good here. Now you may get a message where it's trying to decompile the uh, shaders and anything else just let it do do its business it's not going to hurt anything it just kind of takes a bit longer for this game for whatever reason i'm going to jump back into it we're playing we got a little bit brighter more vivid colors going on you can call that 4k if you want to i mean that's all these other videos really are when they're up in the resolution to these they're just using reshades so you can do the same thing they can all right, so I'm going to hit escape out of this. And I'm going to run this through a big box just to see everything in all its glory. But other than that, everyone, um, we're done. I appreciate you all watching this video. And if you haven't yet, do like, subscribe, and share. It's the best way to help me out and for me to help you and anybody else out. Let's go ahead and check it out. So, Arcade, Techno, where you put it, and Night Hunter. All right, and everyone, that is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this game. It's a pretty fun game. And I really appreciate y'all spending a piece of your day with me.